Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Previously on Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, we talked to Larry Butts for 40 minutes. Apparently. Today we're probably going to be finishing up the investigation period. We're on part three investigations still. Cool. Third episode. Oh yeah, we so... have to go... Poor dude, sweat bullets. We have to go break someone's sight clock, right? Do you remember who? Uh, um, um... No, you don't. No, I can't remember her name! Andrews? First name. All I can think of is Julie Andrews. We have yeah, to go a break a Julie Andrews' <laughs> cycle. Also, no, we should um, see if Ron delights out of... It's AA, right? Yeah. Okay. Adrian Andrews. Yes. Sorry. She's been in two games now, Marty. Come on. I'm sorry! I was thinking about Julie Andrews. Alright, October 13th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Ah! Mr. Wright! Mr. Delight? Did they finish their integration? Integration? Yes, Interrogation. Please don't leave me alone anymore! <laughs> Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? Well, uh, you see. On the same night, the sacred urn was stolen from Lord Lee Taylor Department Store. You were blackmailed! A blackmail letter you got summoned you to KB Security to hand over some money. And then, that's where the CEO, Kane Bullard, was murdered. Maybe he tried to murder him. But, there's only one Ron Delight, am I right? So the only question is, where were you that night? This time I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Oh, okay. Cool. Psych walk, <laughs> Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you are masked to mask? Of course! Isn't that what I've been saying since <laughs> yesterday? That was a quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But, but listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? <laughs> In case you missed out on it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a good look, everyone! Wow. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself! Here I am, the tragic clown. I mean... I guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Of course not. After all, you were at KB Security at the time. So then the person dressed up as Mask to Mask in this photo. It's gotta be Detective Atme. I still think the nose is stupid. <laughs> and that's either the biggest plot hole ever, or that's like the biggest plot twist ever that I discovered like super early. Plot hole. Oh, okay. So that night, you didn't go to Lord Lee Taylor, you went to KB Security, right? Yes. I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail note said I should. Alright, what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used the keycard to unlock the door. That's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was in there! T somebody S didn't hear you knock on the door. <laughs> someone? Uh... Then suddenly they bashed me over the head! Bam! Well, that looked like the silhouette of Detective Adney, but <laughs> maybe not. Was it Kane Bullard that hit you? I don't know. The they were too skinny. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to my senses, the sight I saw left me speechless. Blood everywhere. Oh. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me! I thought I'd die myself! Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body. So you picked it up! So that's why you put it in the safe? Yes, that's right. Idiot. That's- your fingerprints are- well, you can't pick up fingerprints on other people though, right? What? Are you- what? No, you know how if you have, like, fingerprints, and they're like, oh, we found the traces of fingerprints on, like, this bottle. Like, you can't, like, they can't test that on a human body, right? Like, your fingerprints don't show up on someone else's human body? If you touch no, them. No, they should. They should? Oh, then he's an idiot, yeah. But he wears gloves as mask to mask. Ooh. Or, well, not Ooh. as a security guard, though. Yeah. I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what did you do after that? Well, I got out of there, for starters! I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Wow! Nick, all of a sudden... 
sudden, Mr. Delight kind of sounds like the murderer to me. Please don't say that. He's like, I know how to dodge all the cameras! You're like, right. <laughs> Mr. Delight, is it true that one year ago, you were forced to quit KB security? Oh, uh, how did you? Uh, I'm begging you, please don't tell Desi, please! D don't worry, we haven't told anyone yet. Oh, thank goodness. Er, uh, no, I am... Um... But I suppose I'll have to tell you sometime. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Desi would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A criminal, a thief. She'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. Knowing that, why did you become a thief in the first place? Because Desi spends money like it's water. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money. So how about you talk to her yeah, and tell her to stop? <laughs> There's People a, don't behave rationally. There's a pretty good way to solve this, and it's not by stealing, dude. This is like, that's like every single, like, dr drama movie play. Right? Oh, no. Oh, no. My we won't communicate with each other. Yeah. Now conflict is happening. Conflict! <laughs> Except Emotions. being a thief. At least that's what I thought anyway. So we became mask to mask for Desiree, huh? Well, I guess we could show him some stuff. So how yeah. about that blackmail letter, huh? So, was this blackmail letter written by KB Security CEO Kane Buller? Uh, I think so. Probably. You can only get into the CEO's office if you have a key card. The blackmail letter said to meet at KB Security. Then no one else other than Mr. Buller could have written the letter. That's, that's bogus! Anyone could have written that letter. If it doesn't have, like, a CEO mark, like, the wax thing or whatever, or, I don't know, like, you know how sometimes it'll be like, here's this important document that you've received from this place, because I've been, like, signing up for college and stuff, I keep getting a million of these, where they're like, yeah. we want you to join our college, blah, 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 and then, like, the person will have, like, his signature, hey, his or her signature at hey, the bottom. Dean Peterson signed his name and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then, and then scanned it, it into his times. email. Exactly, you know, it's like that, but, like... Yeah, there yeah. wasn't anything that would make it look like it was written by the CEO. Like it's also a blackmail letter, so clearly he doesn't want to. <laughs> Why did they write? The... Why did they sign their names out of letters? And they That's what I was thinking. Of. I'm like, if you had done, you did the same if thing. you had done that, and then they were like, only the CEO could have written it, would have been like, like it's printed. Anyone could have written it. They're they're more doing process of elimination though. Okay, well. I was at KB Security at around one o'clock that night. I took out my wallet to open the door with the key card. Cool. So is that when you dropped it? Uh, I'm sorry. I should have told you the truth earlier. Okay. Yeah, you, you really should. He's an ace to Oh, he's been hot on my trail ever since my first heist. Yes, but he made a pretty stunning confession in court today. It was me all along! I am Master Mask! I don't know what to say. I guess he's just delusional. That's exactly what your wife said about you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Hey, guys. <laughs> what do you think of Reggie? <laughs> Mr. Bullard. My old boss. It's so sad. Do you have any idea what might have happened? Was there anyone that might have wanted him dead? Maybe. Oh, yeah, sure. Mr. Bullard is the type of guy who made lots of enemies. Oh. <laughs> he did lots of threatening things to people. Like black Wait. wait. Do you mean he scared people, or that he threatened them with blackmail? Well, I guess they're kind of the same, right? <laughs> Wait, I'm just imagining, like, Kane Bullard, where, like, you're walking down the road to the convenience store, and he's like, SURPRISE! And, like, pops out at the post. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> he's like, ah! I'm gonna kill him for that. <laughs> <laughs> same thing! Literally! <laughs> blackmail! <laughs> hey, do you, do you ever know this guy? What do you think about this? Hmm... I don't really think I can help you with that. Er, no. That's not it. It's just that the thing is, I don't really know if I can see the way. I didn't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Okay. What about Kujou? Isn't he great? I wish I could be half as cool as him. Uh. But besides, he's the only one that really believed me when I said I was the thief. Hey, hang on a second! This is the guy that had you arrested for murder. Well, I still don't think it makes him a bad person. What in the world do you see in that coffee craze prosecutor? Coffee. <laughs> oh, is this Batman? He is, kind of. 
This list. We found it in the office of the CEO, Mr. Bullard. Hey! This is a list of all the things Master Mask stole! And that's the value of each item listed next to them. $100,000, $150,000. Are you sure that's the value of the stolen items? Hmm... The numbers seem a little low to me. Even on the black market, the prices should be at least three times higher than that. I guess he knows about that stuff because he used to be a security guard. That's Not weird. because he's nasty. How about the, uh, yeah, show him that. If something, if that happens. That's the emergency buzzer from the CEO's office. Don't press it! It makes a terrible racket! <laughs> Sorry. I just love making a lot of noise. Er, uh, um, does this buzzer have something to do with the case? Well, at this point, I don't really know yet. What? Yes, we do! After all, there were no prints on it or anything else for that matter. Oh. Well, maybe, like, someone... Okay. It went off, though. I know what happened, probably. <laughs> Ron comes in, he's like, Hi, I'm here for the blackmail. The guy, like, <laughs> knocks him out, throws him against the wall, and the buzzer goes off. <laughs> <laughs> and then he ru the person runs out, probably stole whatever was in the safe. And left the safe open. No, Ron personally opened it. Oh, okay, denial. closed the safe. Then Ron was like, What's happening? <laughs> and then wakes up and he's like, He's dead! <laughs> and throws him in the safe. The buzzer went off just once around the time that Bullard was killed. Oh! Th that's scary! Do you know anything about that, Mr. Delight? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't. Am I not surprised by how clueless he is anymore? Oh wait, one thing we should do that. The newspaper clipping of the oh, first yeah. heist. Hey! This is an article about my debut heist! Um... Boy, that was a tough one! Before I knew it, they were hot on my trail! The mess to mask, he must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared! That's right! I got a sudden burst of inspiration! I hid my mess to mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket! Then I quickly changed it to my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, eh? Wow! Awesome! Hey, hold the phone! The guard in this photo! Is this you, Mr. Delight? <laughs> That's right! Nice trick if I do say so myself. Nice and easy to figure out. Even pearls can see for that in a heartbeat. <laughs> and yet, police are dumb! But in as you... this game. Huh? Not really in real life. Police are pretty smart. From what I can tell. <laughs> but as you might expect, Detective Atme found the disguise. He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. Um, Detective Atme found the mask to mask disguise? Huh, that's interesting. Yes, and I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it. That's when Atme got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got the chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time consuming, huh? Yes, it took quite a while to complete. Anyway, a few days after that, I received the first of the blackmail letters. Blackmail letters?! W what are you talking about?! Hurry, tell me what you mean! Oh. Hey, I... calm down. D don't get so worked up. Maybe Atme was the one who blackmailed him then. I bet- I bet I know what happened then. What? I keep saying that for everything. But I bet, um, Atme was like, hmm, a disguise. I will take it home! And then, like, took it home. And then he was like, wait, I could pretend to be this dude and then assume his identity and get the money and then people will see, like, it, like he could start blackmailing the other guy and then eventually get him bumped off so he could have all the fame. Oh, interesting. Or something like that. That's like one idea. Also, like the investigation core music. Yeah, I like this. Unfortunately, I don't think it plays again after this until the final case. Really? This yeah. blackmail letter, is this the first one you got? No, of course not! But this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the Tear of Eminon heist. The first letter, it said, I know you did it. So someone found out about your true identity? Just like that? Uh, it's not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got proof that it was you, so give up! It went on to say. So in the end, I had to give up the treasure I went through all the trouble to steal. Is that right? Hey! Hang on a second! What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry! After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box the letter specified, someone sent me $10,000! No one said anything about me being worried, you know. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. P plans? 
So, yeah. I think this is like a double teaming type of deal. Perhaps. What are these plans you're talking about? They were instructions on how to steal a crown or painting or some other rare treasure. They showed security blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. So you mean that the one who planned the heist wasn't you? No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from a very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. It sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person who was blackmailing him. That's kind of weird. So Ron Delight was masked to mask after all? But... Someone else is behind the thefts. Someone who planned like, it all out like in detail. It's like the puppet strings type of yeah. deal. Also, I just... <laughs> I want a picture of he, where he, like, he's like, I had to give up, like, the two Revenant. I'm just picturing him dressed as Max Damasco going to the bank. Like, I have to deposit this thing that got stolen <laughs> the other day. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, sign here. Into this safety deposit box that isn't mine. Cool. <laughs> well, no, he probably, like, met up with someone and, like, they were disguised. It's Master Mask. <laughs> Two Master Masks running around. All I had to do was deposit the treasures I stole into the safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in the How mail. How long has he been married to his wife? Like two years? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm trying to figure out maybe it's her that was like, Hey, I know how you can steal, and then you can have the wife have more money. <laughs> like, I don't and know. <laughs> could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So you went after the sacred urn because of one of those plans too? Well, see, truth is, I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I was told to steal. Well, that's great. Mr. Delight, is everything you've just told me the truth? Yes, but but please don't tell Desi, okay? Ron's testimony well, added mean, to the didn't court have record. A psych walk up here, so he's not lying. Ron, there, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Y yes, but please don't hurt me. Mr. Kane Bullard. Do you swear that it wasn't you who killed him? Y yes of course! I could never- I I'm not lying! All I did was hide his body in the safe. But then I was afraid to discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? Hmm, I guess so. You're really clever, Mr. Delight. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Mystic Maya? What's... what is this? Hey! Pearly! Cool! <laughs> I was like, I'm back! <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out who it was! Hey, Mr. Maya! We got this pizza with delivery! <laughs> I didn't know who it was! I thought it could be the guard! I thought it could be Desi came walking in! I Only Pearls refers to as Mystic Maya and the lady who drinks paint. <laughs> <laughs> she pops out as you, Mystic Maya. It's like, ah! <laughs> Do try this candle. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's a Yankee candle. <laughs> hey, Pearls. So what have you been up to this whole time? The sacred urn. Mr. Nick, I took it back to Korean Village to have it examined. And? And what did you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They said it's the real urn. Woo! <laughs> That's a relief. I was really worried. But... There's one small problem. Problem? Um, these cute little pink splotches? They said that it's paint, and that they were to put it they put it on the urn recently. Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We've gotta find out how they got there! That's the big deal! Yes, Mr. Nick, we gotta figure out how they got there! O okay, okay. We'll go find out how they got there. Please don't forget about me. We can forget about you. <laughs> Sacred urn refiled into the court record. Ooh, the pink splashes. <laughs> oh, let's talk. Wait, maybe we can talk. We have already talked. But, never mind. Okay, I thought maybe there'd be more. Oh, we could present, like, the Sacred Urn to her, though. Yeah. I'm glad we got the Sacred Urn back and all. So then how come you don't look any happier? Why should I? I don't know if I should say Ami or I am on it anymore. And now it's got big pink polka dots on it that weren't there before! Don't you think you're overreacting just a little? Uh, overreacting? Nick, I can't believe you said that! I mean, it's like... like... I got it! It's like if I came in wearing polka dots on my... what? Acolyte. Oh, Acolyte. I haven't seen that in forever. On my Acolyte costume every day and said, Hi, Nick! I'm the I am! <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> well, do you still think it's no big deal? 
I guess it would be um a real disaster. You see? You see? Well, that's how I feel. I've been wondering how to trigger that dialogue for a while now, oh, actually. Really? Maya's <laughs> Maya's saying hi, I'm I am, which <laughs> which sounds like what the urn said. Oh. I thought it was just very clever. That is funny. <laughs> hey Adrian. Oh. Please I'm... tell me Adrian's not dead. <laughs> nope, no sec locks. <laughs> you don't get to unlock them. <laughs> October 14th, Lord Louis Taylor Basement Warehouse. Oh, Pearl, how nice to see you. Hello there! I haven't seen you around lately. Where have you been up? What have you been up to? Well, actually, I was having this urn exam. Examined. Oh, I see. Maybe if we take another good look at this urn, we can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Eh, Nick, let's go look around one more time. Well, I mean, there's the pink box stuff. This box. There's something about it that's bothering me. That's the box that the sacred urn was in. It looks like there's some pink paint on it, too. And it's definitely the same color as the stuff on the urn. I think I know how the paint got on it now. All right, let's investigate again, Nick. Uh, urn box added to the court record. Finally. I almost said box urn. That's a very different <laughs> box thing. Box urn. It's an urn to keep your boxes. It looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's, some, there's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly and it's shockingly pink. <gasps> Mr. Nick, could that the could it be that this odd shape is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Ah, oh, that's the that's the box that the sacred urn was in. If you look here, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're right. Look, it matches. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Paint marks added to the court record. I think it's all starting to become clear. We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happened to the urn. Cool. Um, I'm guessing we're talking to her? Yee. Yeah. Uh... So, do you know anything about the sacred urn? Wh who? Me? In court today, Miss Delight brought the urn back. But, it's a little different from the urn I remember. So Adrian does know something that she's not telling us. Nick, I want to find out about the murder, but I also want to know about the urn. I'd like to know myself. Another loose end to tie up, I guess. She's like, I'm fine. What's up? <laughs> Favorite music? Yeah. It's pretty good. The Sacred Urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? Do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit! The urn was that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. W well, that's... that's, um, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be... Uh, it could be a fake. A fake? You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that is the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence that the urn was, that was submitted at the trial was genuine? Yes, we do. The urn itself. <laughs> it's a genuine <laughs> article. Also, Ron said this. What? <laughs> well, Miss Andrews? See, look, it was a fake after all. Huh? I mean, your evidence is fake too, as expected. Oops. I guess this isn't going to help me much. <laughs> well, at least it was a very small penalty. So have I convinced you, or do you have any evidence? I do. Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article. Pearls went back to Crane Village and had it examined. I is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how... What she discovered was that the vase was broken. Again. D did you say, again? Yes, it was broken once a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing has happened. And quite recently, too. Recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Do you know? Um... I know because... 
I'm an attorney. <laughs> no! Um... Um... Isn't it just because there's the paint splotches on it, and it's been returned to I Am, or Ami? So you want to just present- Just do that again? Pretty sure. Because now it's Ami, instead of I Am. So, Mr. Wright. Huh? Why do you think it was broken recently again? Uh, well, because, um, I just think so. Sorry, but that's not a valid explanation. Ugh, the hunter has become the hunted. <laughs> well, well, it was! It was broken recently! Come on, you know it! I'm not willing to yield to you on this point! G get a grip, please! Now I ask you one more time, Mr. Wright. Why do we think it is? I mean, you're on the right track, it's just the wrong piece of wrong evidence. Piece of stupid evidence. Well, it was in the box, and the box is covered in paint, and there's paint splotches. That doesn't tell you anything about it being broken, though. Oh, um... Um... Shoot. I don't know. I know it's broken. Mm -hmm. My... The evidence that I know what that it is is that the letters have been rearranged again. That's why. But I don't know what piece of evidence would be used. There you go. Okay. That one. It's been a while since we found that one. This poster. It was made recently, right? Poster? Ah! The poster for the exhibit! At the time when this photo was taken, the urn said, I am on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says, Ami. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. I am? What does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. I wasn't even there when the photo for this poster was taken. That was a mistake. Now, tell the truth. Ah! Wait! What for? E even if the urn was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? E yes, that's it. I, I must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. They probably dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. Hmm. It looks like I still haven't broken the entire cyclone. Do you have any proof that the urn was broken here at the Lordly Tailor? Yeah. What's the box say? A wooden box that had the sacred urn in it has pink paint stains on it. Completely dry. The box of the sacred urn fits in the gap perfectly. Otherwise, I don't know what else. Do you imagine to see Boss no. again? <laughs> well, Miss Andrews? I knew I was right about you, Mr. Wright. Excuse me? You're a softie at heart, aren't you? I knew you'd never hurt me on purpose. What a relief. Ah, I guess that wasn't the right piece of evidence. <laughs> We're not hurt- We're not beating her up with, like, the evidence. <laughs> That's what Maya did to us at the shit she did. I think you're mixing up the me of a year ago and the me of today, Miss Andrews. Well, well then, uh, prove me wrong by coming up with the right answer. <laughs> okay. She's just like freaking out every two seconds. She's she's a bit neurotic now. Yeah. yeah. Poor girl. Um. Previous page. No, all of that. You've heard of Schindler's List. This is I, Kane's I literally list. thought of that the minute they had Kane's List on there. Um. Citizen Kane's List. Next page over. It. Oh, is it just the one of the photo of the? The mask to mask, like, <laughs> with the box in his hand? Uh, that doesn't tell us anything about it. Oh, no. okay. Um. Is it, um, a piece of evidence on this page? Yes. Okay. Um, is it the box? Yeah. Well, Miss Andrews? Um, what is this supposed to mean? This urn had these pretty little pink paint splotches on it. Mm hmm. And there's some on the box the urn was stored in, too. No matter how you look at it, the paint seems to be exactly the same, wouldn't you say? So, what does that prove? That the urn was dropped along with the box. That's when they both got paint on them. Are you with me so far? Yes. The rest of the story is obvious. This box was dropped right here in the Mordeby Taylor basement warehouse. If I can prove that, it means that the urn was broken here, too. So can you prove that? Can you prove that the box was dropped here in the basement warehouse? 
It's the spot where it's perfectly aligned with yeah. paint. <laughs> I'm Phoenix Wright. Did you know that? Well, Miss Andrews? Um, actually, I think I should be the one asking the questions. Huh? Are you feeling ill, Mr. Wright? Have you been getting enough sleep? Are you sure you haven't been working yourself too hard? Uh-oh. She's turning this thing around on me now. You really should take some time off and try to relax. Uh, I can relax later, after I've solved this mystery. Ah, the answer's right here! I know it! Someone should be too stupid and presenting all the wrong stuff! It's definitely not me! Maybe I should investigate the warehouse some more? The box is dropped here in the Mordoy Taylor basement warehouse. And we have the paint marks to prove it! Uh, I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yes, more or less. There's pink paint splattered on the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. But there's an odd shape imprinted into a part of the paint stain, am I right? Yes. If you put the box into the impression in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. Which means this box was dropped right there. And that is when the urn was broken. Your name does you justice, Mr. Wright. That doesn't prove anything with her. I mean, she must know about it, but... I'm so sorry. I was the one... the one who broke the urn. Boy, does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher. So, <laughs> did you do your math homework or not? Well, I'm just... Yeah! Like this. <laughs> Basically. I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, that's not so hard to understand. Is it, Pearly? N no, not at all. I, I know just how she feels. It happened about two weeks ago. Just after the poster photo was taken on the same day the urn arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. <laughs> oh! I, I do really like this photo. Though. I love this photo. This is literally me when I'm trying to clean my room or something. Like, I'm carrying stuff and then it just goes like... And it flies everywhere. Yep. And our mom's like, did you even clean your room? I'm like, yes! I swear I did! When I tripped on a pa paint can and lost my balance, the box I was carrying crashed to the ground. I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Why didn't they package it? <laughs> the, because Maya was the one who put it in box. She's like, yeah, he just got the box. <laughs> she doesn't have packing peanuts. This is Maya's fault. <laughs> this is Maya's fault. No, when you buy anything or transport anything breakable you like wrap it 50 times over in that weird paper stuff and you stuff it with packing peanuts and, and then you wrap, wrap it with bubble wrap and then, and you, then like... you put lasagna around it <laughs> which is <laughs> <it> better <laughs> be like more like marshmallows marshmallows sure. would cushion it lasagna <laughs> would Ruin it. <laughs> That's around the, the, the bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> Taco Town. Wow. Fearing the worst, I opened the lid of the box, and that's when it happened. The broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and landed right in the paint. I... I was in shock. And let out a huge scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can totally see how that could have happened. Yeah, as clumsy as she is, I'm sure Maya understands. Yeah, Maya, it's your fault! <laughs> well, I knew it was the most important treasure in all of Karain Village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shards were pretty big. And that's when the I Am got changed to Ami? I didn't know how it was originally written. But any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said Ami. Any sane person? Really? Oh, pearls. She said she wasn't very good at spelling. Hey, let's be fair. Did Pearl go to school? Probably I think not. she just like lived in the Korean village. And it's like, hey, mom, what we learned today? And she's like, today I will drink this can of paint and you will sit and meditate while you <laughs> eat strawberry shortcake. And she's like, that's okay. exactly what, Mer what Morgan would say. <laughs> anyway, I put the urn into the storeroom and no one had seen it since then. Sacred urn updated in the court record. So it broke before it was stolen. 
Yes. A second time. And technically when it broke, basically just the glue that the girls put on it broke. So yeah. all, all the shards were the all same. All the shards were the same. Okay. But there's something I still don't get. When we first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. The Ami face statue? Aha! So it was moved. The first time that we came down here, it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But Mr. Nick, there were no paint marks on the walls or floor of the, uh, the, 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 the warehouse when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. And? I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it! I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Actually, if you go back, like, when you watch this, when it goes up, when the statue's in the first place, you can see a tiny little bit of paint behind it. Oh, that's if cool. If you look closely. I would have had to been, like, <laughs> like right in front right. of the computer screen. But there's still one thing I find strange. What is it, Pearl? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. At that time, the statue had been moved and the paint was clearly visible. She's right about that. Well, Miss Andrews? Uh, what? I, uh, I don't know anything about that. I placed it there to cover the paint, so why would I move it again? Well, then who was it? Who would have done it and why? At me. He's like, this looks terrible. <laughs> no, I maybe he, that was where he was hiding. Oh, that's possible. On the day before the theft, the statue was definitely closer to the door. Then the next day, it was moved. But why? In Amifei's golden statue updated well, in the court record. Is this gonna be another... No, that wouldn't make any sense. It looks like there's some connection between the sacred urn and the murder case. Well, why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Ron Delight, was at KB Security. So then why did another Mask the Mask show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? The murder trial is starting tomorrow. It looks like that thief is going to be making another appearance. Oh, we're gonna pull him out of jail? That'll be fun. We'll be like... <laughs> Just laughing like crazy on the stand. Who is this, Mad Jack? <laughs> no, it's the... at me. Well, that's all the time we have for today, folks. I don't know okay. why I'm talking like that goofy. goofy. <laughs> uh, yuck. <laughs> Tune in next time. We're going back to trial, and we'll be facing um, Coffee Prosecutor again. Okay. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless everybody.